Our next guest utilized his over 28 million YouTube subscribers. I think it's more than 28 and a half million at this point. For Crunch La or to launch Crunch Labs, that's an educational technology company that creates subscription boxes that are filled with an engineering project for kids. You do it right at home. In the past year, he has sold over two million boxes with plans to keep on growing. Joining us right now is Mark Rober. He is Crunch Labs founder, YouTuber, and by the way, former NASA and Apple engineer as well. Uh, and Mark, it's really great to have you in studio. The last time we talked, it was uh, remote. This is better. That's right. This is better. New York's amazing this time of year. Yeah, it is. Uh, you, you are somebody that I first learned about uh, from my son, my 12-year-old son, who, by the way, woke up at 4 in the morning because he wanted to come in, show, <laughs> which he never, ever does, letting him miss the top of school for this but you have a way of reaching kids and it's content that I can approve of because he is learning even though he may not realize it along the way yeah right? that's kind of the secret sauce where you try to hide the vegetables right and uh, you know the kids like it and then the parents like it because it's like positive content where the kids are actually learning something it's like my goal Get as many brains as possible stoked about science and engineering, especially the young folks. But you do it in such a way that they really are tricked. I mean, I, I, I don't know if you guys remember the videos. He does yes. the, the, you got yeah, mad like because somebody was stealing yeah, yeah. exploding. Yeah, cool. like a 15 ton jello pool. You know, that's a really, it's a really engaging thumbnail. And you, and you see this, so you want to click on it and watch it. Like what kid doesn't? But then soon enough, you're learning about the scientific method and chemistry. And you know, failure is being part of the engineering design process which then makes you more resilient as, you know, playing piano or, or playing soccer. So it's all part, you know, on the box, it says, think like an engineer. That's the promise. And by the way, we're subscribers, too. We're okay, this box nice. every month from Crunch Labs. <laughs> that, that Crunch Labs took off when you yeah. launched this last year. You yeah. were hoping, I think, to have 100,000 subscriptions by the end of the year? Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, yeah. We were hoping to have 100,000. That was kind of the plan after, like, two years. And we did that in, like, less than six months. Um, and so you know, almost immediately profitable uh, and just in a position where it gives us more opportunity. We have quite a roadmap. So this is like the first sort of entry into the market. And then what's you know, what, so the age range? This one's for plus eight. Yeah, this is like eight to 12 or so. So you get okay. a fun toy. You know, the first one's like a disc launcher like this. You have this at home. Does it you have it working? I, yeah. And then the engineering principle here is like flywheels, right? Can I? Whoa. <laughs> uh, so you, you learn about Kyle made this. flywheels, right? But then, and then this, you learn about linkages. And this is like a drawing machine where when you, you know, you turn it on, you know, this pen goes around and it, it creates a really cool pattern. So each time, each one comes with a video yeah. uh, where you learn the engineering principle, but at the end of the day, they have to be fun. Like first and foremost, the first thing is they have to be fun. Uh, you did all of this with self-funding. You didn't raise any money for this. You That's were able right. to do it with the funds you already make from the videos that you are posting online. Yeah, which, which yeah, which is just, it's fast. It's such an interesting time to be alive where you can do that, right? That's the power of the creator economy. And then you know, we reach 200 million eyeballs a month through the YouTube videos. So then when you want to tell people about the next box or what you're working on, some of the new initiatives now we're doing with Crunch Labs, I could tap a microphone and we have that audience, right? And, well, and it's so, so weird for media. No, it, I just, for years, I, I've been worried about how hard it is to convince someone to, to, be, to go into to engineering mm -hmm. in, in undergraduate school. I'm wondering, and, and it's, we say, hey, you got to go become an, go, go in, it's like, you go to engineering. I want to go out uh, yeah, during yeah. the week <laughs> yeah. at University of Colorado or, or yeah. wherever that I was. What were you thinking? And to be able to, to do it this way, it, organically, to get people maybe to want to pursue that, that's the only way we can do it, because you can't just tell someone, why did you do it? it was, what, yeah, mechanical? that's right. Were you mechanical? Mechanical, that's you right. Were? Yeah. No one wants it. So, uh, OK, counterpoint. Yeah. Someone stole a package from my porch. And as an engineer, if I want to will something into existence, I can just do that. So I made a glitter bomb bait package, right? But, bef but in a, before you went to undergrad, well, why did you decide to do it before? You were uh, in high school? You were yeah, there? yeah, yeah. I don't know. I just thought. You're nerdy and weird. Yeah, of course. I'm, I'm still nerdy, which is great. <laughs> yeah. it's, what a time to be alive where, like, the nerds Unbelie can do stuff. Yeah, but it's amazing. And it's, it's so necessary. Because yeah, that's right. But I, I genuinely, though, and I think you'd find there's a lot of kids today who have the same mentality, especially when they on YouTube they can see all the cool stuff you can make. I mean, it's one of the, 
I think a lot of kids want to be engineers today because you could just see what you can do with and it. And then there's EE, and then and then chemical and then yeah. and then I'm just lost. Yeah, yeah. then I'm, I'm just lost. I'm out in the weeds. Forget it. Do you have any fear about AI making all of this less valuable, or do you think it makes it more valuable? Uh, when you say this, which part of this? Meaning like being an engineer. Being building something. Building something. I mean, I think there's a big sort of existential question that people have about, you know, what our kids are supposed to be doing yeah. a decade or two decades from now yeah. and what they're supposed to learn now yeah. that'll put them in the best position to do yeah. whatever that is that they're going to do. Yeah. I would argue you're, you're uh, safer about being a mechanical engineer than like a computer programmer, uh, you know, because you're actually making a Stuff thing. with your hands. Yeah, stuff yes. with your hands. But I would say... The robots haven't got there yet. They haven't got there yet, but I, I find AI and these things to be good collaborative partners. Uh, even if you are coding, which I code, you know, sometimes. You do. Chat GPT helps a lot. Too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, once in a while you code. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I yeah. Do not. He worked on a yeah. Mars rover. Yeah, yeah, we spent, <laughs> it, yeah, and we worked at NASA for nine years working on the Mars rover, and, and uh, now we make really cool, you know, to help inspire the next generation of Mars rover which builders. Which we need. I mean, with... If we have all communications majors, we're loved. <laughs> we, 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 we have started substituting love for, for the, the F, F word. word. Yeah. So that, what I just said was if we have all communications majors, we're loved. Yeah, yeah, we're loved. <laughs> got if, it. If we got communications building bridges or, you know, sending up yeah. uh, uh, airplanes. Yeah. What I, what I love is the next step in this, where, okay, in the last year, you've created Crunch Labs that yeah. you send home to people. You've mm -hmm. got a virtual camp that kids mm -hmm. signed up for, and I think it's the biggest camp short of some of the religious camps that yeah. are out there. Mm -hmm. um, what comes next? Are you going to take on partners, take out on outside money? Because if you're really going to build this into an entertainment and toy company and all kinds of products that are out there, that might take additional investment. Yeah, that's right. I mean, right now, to be honest, like, we just don't need the money to do what we need. But if it's the right strategic partner, like we are entertaining some of those conversations because we have two big, big ideas. Even in schools, you know, there's a version of this that's made for older kids. There's like a lot. 